Okay, uh, my name is Landis McCord, and I live in Belvedere Square, and uh, that's in Baltimore, Maryland. I, I get to play in two bands. Um, I DJ freelance, and I also have a DJ night. I'm a karaoke host and a graphic designer. Yo, man, can we see the mics, man? One, two, one, two, and I say, I say party people. I've always had a boombox. My first boombox that I got that was really nice, that had the, the inputs and the outputs, and the cassette still worked. I, I held it up like, oh, I've got one. It was such a search to find that. I don't think I'll ever stop because there's so many different models and designs. It makes you wonder. I don't think there was anything created other than the car where there's that many designs of. You know, it was the only way people were carrying around music. To walk with a boombox on the street was a was a, a waving your flag. It was a rebellious act. You know, to carry your music blaring down the street, and a lot of people did that. You know, the, the people decided what was popular. Um, my sister had this flat radio that she taught me that you could slip inside of your pillow. And, and sleep on top of, and mom never knew that you had the radio on. And all of those songs just went through my subconscious. So I was constantly flooded with music. And the Jackson 5 was really hot, and I was into them. My mom brought us to see the Jackson 5, and we were like, I don't know, fourth row. And I'm right up there with the brothers, and they're doing their thing, and I just thought that was fantastic. My musical taste, is rock and roll and funk. And I used to beat on the desk in, in high school uh, during the boring classes. I had and, uh, a punk rock band that also would hang out there, draw pictures for the school newspaper, um, started to gather around. We'd, we'd say raps on top of the beats, you know, we're hanging out, it's a boring class, blah, blah, blah. And then one time the lead singer just came to us and said, you know, we can't stand our drummer. Would you drum for us? Suddenly I was in a band, and you know, when you're in a band in high school, that puts you up a notch in the pecking order. My band has been places, uh, we've knocked the pants off of clubs that never heard of us. We rolled into clubs as Joe Schmo and rolled out of there almighty senators. Look, it's been 25 years already. That's longer than Led Zeppelin was around. Um, what is it about Baltimore that makes it um, so full of life, color, and music? That's a mystery to me. I just know that it is. There, we have a lot of artists here, though. A lot of great, great artists. Warehouse artist groups organizing, making music, making this, making that. You know, we're just doing our own thing. I think a lot of people come from out of town just to be inspired. You know, just to peer in our window and go, what are you doing? <laughs> We want to stay here where the action is and, and the housing's affordable for now. I know that if you live in Baltimore and you like to do stuff, you will not be bored. <laughs>